Let's go. Thank God it's weekend, the first weekend in the month of September 2022, the first weekend in the Ember months. Today is Saturday, the third day of September 2022. And you know what? You are justified and set free. Isn't that good news to you? Well, that's the topic for our discussion and prayers today on your lab boy today. And we'll be reading from the epistle of Paul to the Romans in chapter 8. And if you are set, let's go. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law, weakened by the flesh, could not do, sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin he condemned seen in the flesh, in order that the just requirements of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds according to the things of the Spirit. To set the mind on the flesh is death. But to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. For the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. He does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot, and those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh, you are in the spirit, if in fact the spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although your bodies are dead because of sin, your spirits are alive because of righteousness. If the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also. Although through his spirit which dwells in you. So then, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of sonship. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is the Spirit himself bearing witness with our spirits that we are children of God. And if children, then hears, hears of God and fellow hears with Christ, provided we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Can you just imagine all that God expects of you now is to have absolute faith in Christ so that you can be justified by faith in him. And God so much loved the world that he made this provision, giving his only begotten son, just that you should believe in him. And that you'll find that most quoted piece of the scripture in the fourth gospel that according to St. John in chapter 3 verse 16. Isn't that sufficient for you? Why wouldn't you latch on to that just to be justified and just to be set free rather than trying to keep to certain hours of doing certain things and 
using certain particular instruments in certain ways and killing particular animals and you know facing particular directions to do certain things all you need is the liberty in christ just believe in him be justified in him and be set free and begin to live a life that is attuned to him just attune yourself to the spirit and the holy spirit will guide you the holy spirit will teach you the holy spirit will comfort you and then you can live with liberty just knowing that you know it's just a matter of asking holy spirit what do i do i know some of you when you travel around you use when you're in a strange place that you're not familiar with you just turn to google map and google map tells you in another uh, 600 meters you'll be turning to the right so you already keep the right lane so you do not run foul of traffic laws the holy spirit does a lot more than that to you that's the same way the Holy Spirit will tell you, slow down on this, begin to apply for this, begin to think of this, oh, go help this person, go preach the gospel here. And that's just the way it is. And you will be led and you will also find that you are set free from all the laws that have to do with do's and don'ts that are shadows of things that are now present here with us now do you also want to be justified and to be set free it's a beautiful weekend and it's a very nice time for you to do that if you want to do that just say this prayer say lord jesus i also want to be justified and set free therefore i am accepting you because i've been told that that's all i need to do forgive me of all the sins of the past and from today lord keep me justified and free in you i pray in jesus name if you said that prayer welcome find a bible believing church so that you can remain free indeed. And if you find an Anglican church, that would be a nice place for you to be. But like I always say, if you happen to be in Oshobo, Washington State, Nigeria, come straight to the Anglican church or PSA extension. We are indeed justified and free in the Lord there. We meet every Wednesday, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and every Sunday, 10 o'clock in the morning. You want to find us? Just come to the Oyinko and Gokimubo to drive there and look out for the... Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High School, and you'll be blessed as you join us. Today now, as you go, declare for yourselves that you are that you are justified in Christ and set free from the power of sin. And I declare that will happen and will be fulfilled in you even as you have said that today through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So go out, justified and free. Enjoy your weekend in the presence of the Lord. God bless you. I judge you faithful I call you faithful